Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I rounded up all of my favorite products from last month, so today we will be talking about my September favorites. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. This is our pink sparkly bubble on YouTube where we talk about luxury beauty, fragrance, sometimes fashion, everything glam. So if that sounds good to you, join our community by subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I have a nice little mix going on here, but I want to begin with fragrance because I do have a quick little announcement that I have to make for anybody who loves Parfum de Marly, such as Delina, Cassily, Darcy, Athalia, they're all really nice. Now through the end of October, when you purchase a full-size fragrance, it could be women's, it could be men's, the new Greenleaf fragrance that just launched, you will receive a complimentary Delina candle. This is a value of $83 with the code Erin Nicole at checkout. I partnered with Parfum de Marly to do something special for everybody within the bubble. So it's very rare that they have an offer like this. It's incredibly generous. So if you already love these fragrances or maybe it's been on your wish list, if you know of anybody who wears Parfum de Marly, spread the word, take advantage and shop early this year. It's an incredible gift. I like to display my candle right up on my vanity because it is a beautiful decor piece. The scent is incredible. I am still yet to light it, but I'm sure I will break down sometime soon because I want to see how it scents the room. It's pretty in pink. It smells amazing. It would be a beautiful gift, if not for yourself, for somebody else with the holidays fast approaching. So I just wanted to spread the word in case anybody is interested. If you are not at all familiar with Parfum de Marly, they are available in some select Nordstrom stores and they just entered some Saks Fifth Avenue. So it might be worth stopping in smelling around, seeing if it, there's anything that you fall in love with. The deal is only available directly on the Parfum de Marly website. All of the information will, of course, be listed down below. The fragrance I'm wearing today is a brand new discovery. I think it's probably too soon to consider it a September favorite, but this was love at first smell. I received this complimentary in a little goodie bag from Sephora. I talked about it in my last Sephora PR haul. It's Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I love this fragrance and it hit me instantly. The moment I first smelled it, I just knew. And even though this was a gift, I love it so much. I'm considering purchasing a full size. I really need to take inventory of all of my fragrances. And it just hit me this morning what this fragrance reminds me of. It smells very similar to Carolina Herrera Good Girl in the stiletto shoe bottle. So if you like that fragrance, chances are you will love this. I think anybody who loves Gardenia will really like this fragrance. It's kind of floral, very creamy with a hint of sweetness. It's not too sweet. It's really beautiful. It's a very elegant daytime fragrance. Oh, it's so nice. I think I'm gonna start doing a fragrance favorites video at the end of every month. That way I can go more in depth and gather all of the fragrances that I wore the month before and talk about them because I only like to pick out one or two to include in my beauty favorites. So I think maybe I will separate the two videos. And then the last fragrance item I have here to talk about is this perfume sampler set from Sephora. This was sent to me complimentary to create a full review. It was my very first sponsored Sephora Squad video, but I completely fell in love with this set. And actually I purchased a set on my own because I love it so much. In case you missed the video, what's so great about this is it $68? You get all of the samples, bestsellers. They have a bunch of different sets, actually. They have a travel set. I think there's now a holiday set. There's a men's version. But then there's a little gift certificate inside for you to redeem for a full-size bottle of whichever fragrance you decide is your favorite. So I picked up the Ocean de Joa the first time. I love that fragrance. And then I fell in love with Chloe Absolute, and I figure why would I purchase the fragrance on its own when I can pick up the little gift set and save some money. So it really is a great value. It's a great gift. If you were going to purchase any of these, get the gift set, save yourself some money. And if you know somebody who's a fragrance lover, it's just really fun. And then you get to hold on to all of the little samples as well. It is such a great value. Fragrance is ridiculously expensive. So if you can save some money, why wouldn't you take advantage? And I do love this Chloe Nomad Absolute. I love the original Nomad, but this one is a little bit more intense. And this fragrance is perfect for fall winter as well. If you haven't smelled this, you have to try it. 
Diving straight into makeup now, September was the month of foundation launches and most all of them were really incredible. So I'm starting with the Reformulated Le Beige. This is from Chanel. I saw this is now available at Nordstrom as well. In case you are a Nordstrom shopper, you don't like to shop directly on the Chanel website. Totally different from the original Le Beige and I did a full breakdown of the two formulas. I will link the video down below. If you have any interest in this foundation, check out the full review, but this foundation is beautiful. It's long wearing, it's more luminous, it's not crazy dewy, too radiant, it doesn't slip and slide all over your face, but there is a lot more hydration than the original Le Beige, which was more of a natural matte finish. I really like the coverage, I really like the color. I believe this foundation has the widest shade range of any Chanel foundation out at the moment. I think I like this more than my Ultra La Tint. And that's saying something because that's usually one of my go-to cream foundations. I also really love the brand new Clay de Peau foundation. This is the Radiant Fluid Foundation Matte, not to be confused with the original Radiant Fluid. It's radiant, it's matte, it's sort of the perfect combination of the two, and I think that's part of why I love it so much. I love the coverage, and I love how long wearing this foundation is. It's a hefty price point. I wanna say it retails for 140, maybe 145, I don't remember. It has skincare, so this is their anti-aging foundation. You have to pay for that. <laughs> and they do not give you the anti-aging for free. It comes with a hefty price tag. If you can find a good shade match, this is a beautiful foundation. Everybody shops for their foundation differently. We all have different preferences, different price points that we like to stick to. If you love anti-aging foundations, this is one of the best anti-aging in that price range. If you're looking for something that is long wearing, it's not drying, it's gonna photograph beautifully, and it's more reasonable, I think you could easily go with the Chanel Le Beige. And then if you like something that is really matte, the new NARS foundation is absolutely beautiful. Those three were my favorite launches, and now they're three of my favorite foundations in my entire collection. They're just gorgeous. The Hourglass Sculpture Collection is hands down one of my favorite holiday collections from this year. Here I have the larger sculpture palette. Very beautiful. And I also picked up the mini palette. I cut them both, and I love them both. I think if you had to choose one or the other, the mini is just more efficient. It has four different powders inside. So you have your setting powder, a bronzer, blush, and your highlighting powder. I took this with me last weekend whenever I traveled. It was so easy. The first time I reviewed this collection, I used this on the eyes, and that looked really pretty as well. There's just so much you can do with this, but I love the hourglass powders. I don't have a large collection of hourglass, but I think I'm gonna start collecting their holiday launches. I really liked the ghost collection last year, but I only picked up the larger palette. I'm so happy I picked up the mini as well. I think the colors are a bit better this year. I don't know, they're kind of a little bit warmer, a little bit deeper in tone. I love the exterior gold packaging. Everything about the collection this year is just a little bit dreamier. I don't know, I just love it. The two blushes inside are really pretty. This one's kind of a deep mauve tone, similar to the mini sculpture, but you do get this brighter, poppier, strawberry type of blush, so this could be your daytime, your evening. The bronzer in the large palette is a little bit red. It's not bad, a little bit more red than I'm used to, and then you get two setting powders. I know there was some talk, I'm not really familiar with Hourglass, so I couldn't tell you what's a new shade, what's limited, what's been done a million times over. I want to say that dim light is pretty much in everything, so maybe you want to skip the palette because they aren't all new shades. All I can say is that the shades that are included in both palettes are really pretty. My lipstick selection here is a bit boring, but these are truly the products that I have been wearing non-stop. It is very rare that I'm wearing something other than these products. So this is Timeless Beige from Chanel. The perfect nude, I am wearing it today. It's just so easy to throw on and go. And it's a little bit deeper, I think, than Tender Beige. Maybe a little bit less pink. It's a little bit more of a neutral tone. I love it, it's beautiful. I can't stop wearing it and I like to top it off with the gloss of course, but then I like to touch up with this opal gloss. This is from Laura Mercier. 
they sent this to me a while ago and I didn't touch it. I think, I don't know why, I opened the box and I thought, oh, that's sort of pretty. I started throwing it on and now I am absolutely obsessed. This is my new favorite nude gloss, Opal. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this combination right here. I can't stop wearing it, but I do also love the new nude lipstick from Chanel 107 or Beige. So pretty. This one has a little bit more color. I think it's a bit more intense than Timeless Beige, and it does have a little hint of gold shimmer, which is very beautiful. It's one of the holiday lipsticks, so heftier price point, but it does come in the really pretty packaging. Of the shades I picked up, I think I will get the most use out of this color. Even though the reds are stunning, great for holiday, this went directly in my purse and that's where it's going right after I film. For cheeks, there were two products that I could not put down this month. The first is from the Chanel Holiday Collection. This is the Le Chain de Chanel Illuminating Blush that has the really beautiful chain detail embossed right on top of the powder. It's still relatively new, so I've only had a couple chances to use it, but I think it is absolutely beautiful. It's too deep to be a highlighter. It's a little bit light for a blush, but I will probably use this as a blush or even a blush topper. And then the second product I have here is this California blush. This is from Benefit. The shade is this really pretty peachy pink, similar to NARS Orgasm. And I think there was maybe a little bit of a gold spray on top that's now gone. I just have been reaching for this as kind of like my daily blush. Slowly but surely, I'm starting to go through it. Very pretty color. It's kind of warm. It's not very fall just yet, but a great summer blush. And great for anybody who's still living in the warmer months or if you still like that warm peachy pink type of cheek. This is a really pretty color. I have a few eye products here to talk about. The only eyeshadow and the only palette on the list is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I absolutely love this palette and I have not used this nearly enough because there are just so many new products constantly coming out. I feel like I've barely touched it, but it is so elegant. It is a very chic type of palette, very classic. I don't think it's as cool as maybe some people made it out to be. I think it's pretty neutral and there are some shades that lean a little bit warm-ish, particularly this corner right here. Overall, it is a cooler, more neutral palette, so it's different. I know that I'm going to use this a lot more in the next couple of months. It's a very fall-winter palette. I just think it is very elegant, really nice. I'm so happy I picked this up. And then I also have the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. This mascara is so intense, so beware. I have said I think you need longer lashes to be able to pull this off. If you have really short lashes, it might be too much. It might start to get a little bit clumpy on you. But if you have lashes, this is insane. One coat is all you need. I don't even dip back into the tube before I start on the other eye. It is that dramatic. So for dramatic lash lovers, you will love this mascara. And I've also been loving this Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. This one was sent to me complimentary. I love it so much. I purchased two when they went on sale at Sephora. I'm not going back to any other brow pencil. I just finished my last brow whiz. And that's probably the last brow whiz I will ever purchase because this is just so much better. It's less waxy, so it applies and it just goes on really easily. I don't have to drag and it allows you to get little hair-like strokes so much better. So I love this. Before the products were sent to me, I had never tried any of the Benefit brow products. Now I've been converted, now that I've tried them and I understand what the buzz is about, I will only purchase Benefit brow products going forward. I shouldn't say only. I'm open to trying new things, of course, but I love the brow gel. It is the strongest holding brow gel. I love this pencil. I love the micro filling pen. This is kind of my perfect brow routine. We're down to the last few products here. I have some hair care to talk about. These products are both from Kerastase. This one was sent to me complimentary. This is the Blonde Absolute Overnight Recovery Treatment. This was part of a campaign I did with Sephora Squad a couple weeks ago, but I fell in love. 
I absolutely love this overnight treatment and I love it so much. I purchased the serum, which is a heat protector. I used it for the first time, the last time I did my hair and I did really like it, but I can't really speak to it using it just one time. I love the smell. I am gonna show you how I apply this, but I just wanna talk about this real quick. So this is their best-selling nutritive eight hour magic night serum. This I have used for a really long time, kind of off and on. This is great if you don't have blonde hair that is color treated and bleached. If you have brunette hair, red, red hair, any other shade of hair, this would be your overnight treatment. You use them basically the same way. I'm going to go ahead and show you. So you basically just one pump. I could maybe do one and a half pumps simply because my hair is really long. Rub it around in your hand. And then I like to work just in the main color treated places. So around my face, they tend to do lighter pieces. So these pieces have a ton of breakage. They're very crispy. <laughs> so I just start working it into my hair. Bid shaft down to the bottom. The ends, of course, are really crispy. The pieces around the front. Every time I wash my hair, I do a deep conditioning treatment. Sometimes I do Olaplex, but I always do something to give my hair lots of moisture. But between washes, there's nothing I can really put in my hair. You know, I'll use dry shampoo or maybe a heat protector so I can restyle it, but all of those things are damaging the hair. They're not doing anything to help my hair. So that's why I love this. Between washes, I can still use a treatment and it absorbs right into the hair. I mean, you just brush it out and look, it's as if I didn't put anything in. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel tacky, it doesn't weigh down the hair. Mm, it smells really good. Um, so it doesn't build up a lot of product on the hair. It's just as if you put some protector on it and then that's it. It's a leave-in treatment. You can use it overnight and then just go about your day. It's a very low maintenance product. It's very easy to work into your routine, unlike Olaplex, which I love, but it's a whole thing. You know, I have to, you know, wet the hair, make it a little bit damp, apply the treatment. Sometimes I leave it in for an hour. Of course, you can leave it on for a few hours and then you have to wash it out. And for me, that's more of a headache and I feel like I have to plan ahead to do an Olaplex treatment. If you leave it in for 10, 20 minutes, you're just not going to get the full benefits that little bottle is pretty pricey. So I want to make sure that every time I use it, I leave it in for an hour or two at least. With something like this, you literally just throw it in your hair and done. Treatment, done. And the very last item I have here to mention might not be applicable depending on where you live, but it's this Copper Tone Glow SPF 50 with Shimmer. I believe it also comes in an SPF 30. I found this randomly at CVS before our first trip down to the Keys and I'm completely obsessed with it. I wanna say it was less than $10. Now it's almost gone. It gives the, your skin the most beautiful glow, but then it has SPF 50, so you get all of the protection. It smells a little bit like sunscreen, but the scent is really not that bad, and I think it fades, so I like to use this every single day as my body's sunscreen. Now, if I'm spending any amount of time outdoors, but definitely if I'm going to the pool to the beach, I love to rub this all over. It just makes you feel like mermaid goddess, but you have the full SPF 50, which is incredible. I'm so happy they have this. And that completes my September favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I love to hear from you guys, so be sure to share your favorites down in the comment section. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.